Now, in the deep freeze of the Siberian winter, fur is still the most popular way to keep warm, but the industry has plenty of critics. RT's Tabby Motze explores the issue now on her journey to one of the world's coldest places to live. <laughs> The next leg of my journey is Irkutsk, where fur is a way of life. Here, furs have been the only protection against the icy winds for thousands of years. And if you take a winter stroll through Irkutsk, there's no doubt about the fabric of choice for women of all ages. My husband gave me this coat, and I'm happy to have it. Maybe in the future I'll wear something else when they invent some new materials. Sable features on the city's coats of arms. And it's a lucrative industry, with coats costing up to $80,000. Yulia is a renowned local designer of fur coats with 20 years in the industry. I don't think it's up to us. Fashion is based on what you see on TV. If rich people stop wearing fur coats, if everyone sees them wearing parkas instead, I guess they might follow the trend and give fur up. Have you ever wondered how many animals does it take to make a fur coat? Let's say for argument's sake that I wanted a fox fur. Now, if I wanted a fox fur coat, it would take about 11 of these to actually make one coat for me. Now, if I wanted to make a coat for someone a size medium, say, then we would need about 15 of these foxes to make that fur coat. So the question is, knowing how many animals it takes to make a fur coat, would you still buy one? Here, they say the answer is dictated by the winter freeze, averaging at minus 45 degrees Celsius with a record of minus 68. Of course, animal rights groups see things very differently. Animals are living creatures. They can all feel pain. Why is it luxurious? How can a fur coat be beautiful? All the animals were killed in pain and fear. Ksenia lives in Irkutsk and she's determined to get her message across, encouraging alternatives from the real deal, like faux fur materials. They say fur from Siberia is the best in the world. And yes, it does feel luxurious, and it does keep you warm. Beauty or cruelty, whether you want to wear fur or not, it's worth it taking time to think carefully before splashing out on that luxe mink coat or even a fur hat. Tabamudze, Irkuz, Siberia, RT.